Okay, I'm a promotional company. I'm dealing with bands. Here they are. Venues I work with. And I want to record the band name, the venue name, and then work out some other things in my uh, uh, spreadsheet here. So I want to choose from the bands. I've already got them in this list. Um, so I don't want to type it again and duplicate information to risk making mistakes. So what I'm going to do is have a drop-down box. Now on the developer tab here, I got that from Excel preferences and on the ribbon I made sure it had the developer tab. Uh, there are various options such as um, a combo box uh, and buttons. Uh, the combo box for the drop-down box I don't think works as well as using a list for data validation. So for all these cells, and in fact what I should probably do is extend this spreadsheet, I'm going to validate all these cells that you can only choose from a list. And that list is going to be my list of bands. So I'm going to go to data, validation, and in the settings, allow, not any value, choose from a list. And what is the source of this list? Where is this list? Well, it's on the bands tab here, and it's these bands. Actually, again, I could extend this, and I'm going to build my spreadsheet up. So I'm just going to choose, I'll uh, probably work with maybe up to you know 28 or so bands. From that range, it puts the absolute cell reference in for you, so that stays nicely uh, and refers to the bands sheet there. OK. Now, if I click on this cell, I can select from the bands there. If I click, click on this cell, I can select from the bands here. And I can do this for the venue in the same way, by validating the cells and referring to the venues tab to make a choice. Have a go at that.